For the CH341A, EEPROM programmer, and if you're an avid user of Windows, you will need an alternative program to Flash ROM, which I use on Linux. There is one out there, and it's called AS Programmer. So let's go and find it. One way to search for this is on GitHub AS Programmer. Can't go. And our first one is github.com, so let's go to GitHub. As you will notice that the instructions here are in Russian. And you go, what's that? And But however, somebody's kindly got it in English underneath. Now, they've obviously updated it since I last used it. So I should download a copy of AS Programmer. Save file, okay. Cool. I've transferred the AS programmer zip file to my desktop and extracted the contents to a folder that I've called Programmer. All the files needed to run AS Programmer are contained within this folder. It's portable. And it doesn't have to be installed on the uh, main system. I'm running a copy of uh, Windows 7. I'm rather old now, yet so am I. And so is my computer. Uh, the program will run happily on the latest version of Windows. To open the program, then go AS programmer. That's it. Across the top here we have a section marked IC. This is the list of all the devices and manufacturers of the devices from which you select the one that you're going to use. The options, currently I wouldn't bother with the options if you're just reading and writing the chip. Hardware, here we have to select the EEPROM programmer that we're using and in this case it supports three devices. The CH341A is one of them and I've got that selected. Scripts, well we're not writing any scripts and uh, if we did they would go in here and uh, we'll set our language to English. Uh, you have two other options which are French and Russian. The next line down is quite self-explanatory. Open file. So we can open a file. We can save a file. And here we can read the IC, program the IC, erase the IC, verify the IC. And here we can read the ID. The ID is the information on the chip that defines what it, type of chip it is and manufacturer. And we'll use that in a moment. Um, here we have a unprotect. Now we some devices are right protected and uh, here this can be modified using the options here. However, a word of caution, don't fiddle with this at present. Stop is obviously to cancel things in progress and here we have three options as to the type of interface, digital interface that we're using. Uh, ours is an SPI, there's an IC, I2C or a microwave. <clears throat> As I said, it's all self-explanatory. Let's go back to read the ID. Currently, I don't have a, the program plugged in or the chip in. Just insert it into the USB. Now it should be up and running. Read the ID of the device. I'm using the W25Q64FV. By coming over to 
the IC and select any device from the list and here we have it this will put in all the necessary um, prerequisites to the programmer as you can see it's got the IC in, the size of it, the page size and the type of SPI commands that it uses from here it's just a simple case of uh, do I want to read what's on the IC it's a EFI BIOS out of a laptop and yes I want to read it and as before when I use um, flash ROM I read the device three times I'm not going to go through that all that again um, I've done that in another video I'm just going to simply read this device once it'll take a minute or two okay so that job's done it took one minute 28 seconds and here you can see all the detail that we have to save this file we come up to the save option and I'm going to say save this as uh, on my desktop uh, as old dot bin save if I was doing this for real I would repeat this operation three times and compare the three files using a hexadecimal editor is it possible to uh, modify the file by itself just using the AS programmer um, possibly let's see if we can do that we'll come here and I'll put this in as zero 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 now I've modified it and let us save this file as mod.bin some significant changes occurred since I sort of uh, saved the file as you can see that it's changed from being an orangey colour to a permanent uh, background bluey colour to write the information to the chip we have this program IC which has an option bar with it the option bar says unprotect erase program verify these are four steps it goes through in the uh, reading writing the new information to the chip there's no other to select so we'll just click on this and see what happens I see will be erased and programmed continue yes Um, down here it's come up with the old S register 0000 and 00010 and um, S register I would suggest that you make a note of that maybe too late yet. as there was no change it's not worth firing around And there's some confirmation of the IC marking for some reason. As this could take some time, I'm just going to wander off and come back later. video shut down because the screen shut down and that was interesting right well that's finished I'm not certain it's written the information to the chip although it's gone through a verification process I don't think I've explained it very well because uh, you don't actually see any change there uh, let me show you it does really happen I'll close the AS programmer down and reopen it 
And that's basically to clear everything. And now I'm going to go for a read procedure of the chip again, which is IC, SPI, Wim Bond. Basically, I'm selecting my device. 64FV, it's all done. And I come up here and go through the read procedure and wait. Ah, oh, it says an error. That's my fault. Basically, I pulled the um, my CH341A program out of uh, its socket. Let's read it again. And now we're reading the memory, and this will take a minute or two. In this instance, what I'm looking for is the modified information, which was just these uh, three. Um, just was just this little bit here, and it's come up. In practice, I would save this file now, give it a name, and I'm going to call it mod check bin, bin for binary file, and save it. It's popped up over here, let's drag it across and place it next to that one. If I had a hash code generator, I would now generate two hash codes, one for the mod bin, one for the mod check bin, and to check that the hash codes were identical. If they weren't, then there would be some discrepancy between the data for these two, and I would have to find out why. Um, but this is only a demonstration. I will not take it any further. Windows isn't my favourite operating system and I generally do this work in uh, Linux using Flash ROM. Well that's it in a nutshell. However, I'd like to just talk about this unprotect options that we have here. This option, which is, uh, says unprotect, has several different options. Set protection bits, read S register and edit the S register. Well, S register, in my opinion, stands for status register. It's, uh, it controls the settings of the protection bits that protect certain parts of the memory from being written to. And as such, I would steer clear of ever playing with that unless you really need to know and also you know what you're doing. And by all means, read it, but don't fiddle with it. Down here, I've already read them. I wouldn't go into changing them. Inside the chip, there is a write enable latch which deals with power down and power up situations, plus also the uh, transfer of data functions. Like you wouldn't want to write enable while you're reading information, that sort of thing. Sometimes when you go to program uh, an in situ device on a laptop, you may find that it doesn't work and the tendency would be to think that it was right protected. In fact, uh, you will see some people go through a procedure of disconnecting the battery, uh, power, putting the mains power lead on, trying to start the laptop and if it does start, stopping the laptop. Uh, this is all about the power down and power up of the chip itself and getting the right enable latch into the right conditions for programming. Protection bits is a whole 
different ball game. I may have not explained this very well, and I poorly understand it myself, but I do have an appreciation of what's going on. That's all I've got to say about the AS programmer. You'll need to find your own hexadecimal um, editors and um, hash code generators, etc. for Windows. I can't be bothered with Windows anymore. I gave up years ago. AS programmer works well on Windows in conjunction with the CH3418 programmer. The recommended Windows programs that the CH3418 was supplied with, um, I find not to my liking. And this is a great alternative and one that I would use if I used Windows.